how you can buy stocks, bonds, ETFs with Interactive Investor. Once you have logged into your account, in the bottom of the screen you can see the search box. Um, make sure you are searching in the right market. For example, if I'm going to type in Tesla, um, now you can see that there is no uh, results matching my criteria. This is simply because I'm searching amongst the UK equities and Tesla is not traded in the UK account. However, if I'm going to change to the US, um, Tesla is going to appear uh, there now. Um, however, for today's example, I'm going to choose and show you the um, ETF. By no means it's recommendation, um, it's just something that I've been holding for a long time and um, I'm just going to show you how to set up um, a limit order and how you can trade in the market. So once you're here on the buy screen, just make sure you're, it is the correct uh, stock that you're planning to buy, just double check it. Um, Interactive Investor allows you to have different accounts, so make sure you're you're going to buy from the correct account. For example, I have an account for myself and the one that I'm holding for me and my partner. So you can see there are two accounts here. Um, so I choose that I want to buy and I can choose whether I want to buy the number of shares or the cash amount that I want to invest in a particular product. So in this case, I'm going to just buy two shares. And then uh, we come to an interesting part. Um, it might be turned off for you. If it is, make sure you turn it on um, and I'm going to explain what you need to do here. So uh, the settlement period is pretty much the time which takes for the ownership to pass from the seller to you once you purchase something. If you are a beginner investor, I would say just don't bother with it at all because it's just for qualified investors. So um, move on to the next part. So the order type, the market is when you buy something at the market price. So if the market is open, uh, this is the price at which it's going to be executed. If you want to buy something and the market is closed, it's going to be at the next available price once the markets are open. Um, now, if, for example, I want to buy something, but not at the current price, but I think, oh, wait a second, uh, maybe the stock goes down and only then I want to buy. Then I will set up a limit order and you can choose that here. Um, so in the limit price I need to put the price at which I'm happy to buy and it's going to be executed either at that price or lower. But lower just a bit. It, it's not going to be massively lower. So it's just a trigger that uh, the system is going to execute once the the price is hit, uh, the one that you specify here. Make sure you double check what's written here. So it's you need to set up the price in pence. So um, for this example, I'll say I'll be going to be happy if the price is going to be 750 pence, which is seven pounds fifty. Um, and as you can see in the graph, currently the price is eight pounds fifty-five, and Maybe it's going to go down to £7.50, I don't know, but I'm saying, you know what, I'm going to be happy. If it's going to go down to that price, I'm going to be happy to buy. Um, you need to set up the duration for which you want this uh, limit order to be valid. Um, and as you can see, you can do it for one day, 25 days, um, any uh, number that you're happy with, but it has to be up to 90 days. And I'm going to be saying, okay, up to 25 days, I'm happy. If within the next month it goes down, it's happy. If it doesn't hit that price, the order is going to be cancelled out. The last thing you need to pay attention uh, to is the settlement currency. In this example, um, my account is in pounds and I'm buying something that is in pounds. It's totally fine. However, Interactive Investor allows you to keep your money in different currencies. Uh, for example, I have um, an account where I have US dollars and from the US dollars I purchase the US stock. If, for example, by mistake I choose uh, you, um, sterlings, pound sterlings, then the money is going to be taken from the sterling account and the um, exchange rate is going to be applied. Um, one thing why it's not a good such a good thing is that an interactive investor charges you 1.5% uh, commission fee 
for uh, the conversion. So for example, if I want to buy uh, some stock um, in the US for 10,000 um, pounds, they will charge me 150 pounds to do this um, transaction. It's just in um, uh, foreign exchange fees, which is quite a bit of money. Um, but in the next video, I'm going to explain to you um, why Interactive Investor might not be such a bad thing compared to the free platforms, um, which their fees are seemingly cheaper. Um, and that's pretty much that. So once you have set everything up here, you do preview your order. Um, it, it shows you everything. It tells you the order type, the limit price that you have set up or if you're wanting to buy something at the market price it's going to show you that it's the market price and then you can place an order so I'm going to place this one um, and what you can do is go to see your order list and this order is going to be there um, for you to review if for example something happens the price drops or you don't want to do it anymore you can always cancel it um, out by clicking uh, button cancel. Um, if for example you want to buy it at the market price it's pretty much the same you just choose market I'm just going to do the same thing all over again um, buy to ta -da -da, and US sterlings just double check everything um, preview order and then this is it um, you can see the estimated price that you're going to get, uh, the commission that you will pay and the total amount that you have to uh, pay. And then you can place your order and that will be that. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. In the next one I'm going to explain to you how to sell and how to buy um, US stock with the uh, minimum fees. Thanks for watching. Bye!